Good day, everybody. Welcome to the Bible in a Year 2021. We are currently on day 287, and we're reading through Matthew 13 and Luke 8. In Matthew 13, Jesus gives us the, the parable, um, the, you can call it the parable of the soil, you can call it the parable of the seed, uh, but he's really giving us a, a clue to our understanding of the relationship that we have with Yahweh. If it was a relationship um, that it was friends, um, the parable would be different. But what we have here is that it is, it is definitely a parent and child relationship that we have with Yahweh. That's why we refer to father. Um, the soil is, it represents the heart, but it represents getting into a position to receive. It's being in a condition to receive. Because uh, the father wants us to receive. He wants to give. This is the relationship we have with him. He is so generous and he wants us to receive from him. He's got nothing but good things for us. Now, good things sometimes are contained in hard packaging. <laughs> you know, there, there are things that we can only receive um, as we face adversity. That doesn't make him any less good. That doesn't make the gift any less valuable. In fact, in those things, that gift becomes a very valuable thing that we're receiving from that. But here Jesus is talking about really our condition, where we need to be in order to be in this humble position of receiving. Sometimes arrogance can get in the way of that. But understanding that um, you know, arrogance can't be part of that. The only way that the, the soil can be, be soft to receive, tilled to receive, is in humility. When we realize that we can't do for ourselves what we need done. We need Father. Uh, and only He can do for this. And as we get into that position of humility, that humble place, uh, then we find that the, the, the heart is, is, is prepared. But at the same time, it has to be that, that parent-child where not only is it about dependent, it's about trust. It's in that place of trust that things like worries and fears and, and um, uh, needing to provide for ourselves, those things all disappear. And, and so when we receive, uh, those things don't choke out uh, what we receive. It's, it becomes a place where those things are allowed to take root and they're allowed to grow and produce fruit. And, 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 and that, again, is a position of a, of a parent and a child where the child um, doesn't ask if we're going to have supper, but what is for supper. Uh, there's no question about are we going to eat tonight, but the question is what are we going to eat tonight? And, and quite often we, are in a, we put ourselves in a position of, of doubt, like if, are we, are we going to eat? It, it, <laughs> is there going to be a meal? And there's never a question about a meal. It can be a question of like, what's it going to be? But it's going to be a meal. We are going to receive. And, and he wants us to receive. And we have to get rid of these things in order to be in a position. So if it helps um, your understanding of this parable, and, and that this is not a hard thing, it's, it's not even so much a controlling thing uh, that this is just a natural part of the relationship between parent and child it's just natural it's natural if my child became arrogant so i don't need anything from you how can i give them all the things that i want to give to them or if they're so filled with worry that they can't enjoy what i've given to them they can't allow that thing to grow and to become more um, you know, it's, it's, it's not my fault. It's not, it, my desire is there to see them more than they are right now. And, and, and it's a child's problem for having that, that position where they don't trust. Um, 
it's sure we have to teach a child to trust we need our father to teach us to trust uh, these are lessons that he needs to teach us he needs to show us what it looks like um, and some of that can come through trial and error some of it can come through but this this is the whole thing it's, it's a growing process it's a growing process so I just want to leave that with you. If, if you can better understand the condition that you're supposed to be in um, and to get into that place of a child and a parent, um, Father doesn't need anything from us, but we need everything from Him. And that's the way the relationship works. So we got to get off our high horse, get rid of our arrogance so we can be in that position of receiving what He has for us. Okay, you guys be blessed today. Uh, be encouraged. And um, let's just work on our positioning so we can receive everything that he, he desires for us to have. God bless.